They are beautiful. They're for Emma. Waste of money, if you ask me. Oh. That gigantic waste of money is for you. Oh. Ah, oh, who are they from? I don't know yet. Well? Anonymous. Oh, you had me fooled. That was me thinking she'd been hanging out with Nina all this time. She's had a new man on the go. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I can't meet anyone here. Morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's not Al, Sid or Daniel. Jimmy? All the way from Thailand? Right, yeah. Let's get our quiz on. Right. I have downloaded, but not perused, a series of ridiculously difficult questions. Can test our brains to the very limit. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'm going out for lunch with Emma. Oh, um... I'm sorry, I don't think I can make it now. Something's come up, so... Oh, something to do with those flowers this morning? Um... Maybe. <gasps> Details later. Did you thank him in kind at lunchtime, then? In the first place, I don't know what you're talking about. And in the second place... You're wearing what a I... different blouse from this morning, Dr Reed. No further comment, Your Honour. Bet you do. <laughs> I'm right near the end. Oh, a bit worried. <laughs> exactly. And then she puts it... I yep. And then he asked her to do it again. Only harder. I think I need a cold shower. More like a power hose. See you later. Hi. Um, I just called to say hello. Hello, you. And hi, back. How's things? Same old. Is everything all right? You sound a bit, um... What, distracted? Nervous? Happy? I can't stop thinking about you. You say that like it's a bad thing. When can I see you? I thought maybe we could, um, you know, get a few days away. Where are you? Oh, I've just been shopping with Amy. Oh! Um, I'm sorry, if, I, if I'd known, I, I would never have called. It's fine. I've got a work meeting planned. Then why don't I pop round afterwards? Tonight. Great. Let's have some wine. Thanks. I'm sorry about this afternoon. If I'd known you were with Amy, I would never have called. She wanted a jacket. Thought she could charm me into making an impulse buy. And did she? How does this happen? Shopping? No. <laughs> Suddenly you're in the middle of something before you even know it's begun. In a good way. I feel like I'm treading a dangerously thin line between having huge doubts and not giving a damn. Is that so bad? Be honest. Are you having doubts? No more than you. It's starting to feel real. And it didn't before? Well, there's a weight to this now. And that changes everything. The reality is that I have a family. Up until now, we've been in a bubble. Is that bubble about to burst? Can't you see it? Meeting at the airport, flying off to somewhere like, um, I don't know, Paris, Berlin or, or Barcelona. I'd pay. I can't let you do that. It's far too indulgent. <sighs> Look, there are a lot of things that are made worse by guilt. There are also a lot of things that are made a bit better by it. Oh, all right. What about somewhere over here, then? You know, I... What about the Lake District or the Cotswolds? I haven't been there for ages. Just somewhere where no one knows us. Total freedom. When you talk this way, I don't care where we go. That settles it. You choose. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, Cotswolds, definitely. It doesn't really matter where we go, because I'm not going to let you out of the bedroom. Promises, promises.
Come in. <laughs> Sorry to barge in out of the blue. Couldn't wait until tomorrow night. No, it's a lovely surprise. Valerie said you were busy, so feel free to chuck me out. Well, I am, but, um, well, if you're free around two, we could have lunch. I'd love that. <laughs> Better not mention it to Valerie. I think she's a bit upset with me. <laughs> well, that would be my fault. She thinks I have stolen you away. Not just stolen. Bewitched. Captivated. Enchanted. Am I... Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Come in. <clears throat> Take the towels. Do you want me to put them away? No, just leave them there. I'll take care of them. I've got some more in reception. Do you want me to bring them through? Whatever. Have I done something to upset you? No. Because I know I have a knack of rubbing people up the wrong way, so if I have, I apologise. Right, well, you haven't. What about Lena? What about her? Have I rubbed Lena up the wrong way? How should I know? So I was only asking. No need to bite my head off. Come in. Hi. Hi. Um, about earlier, I, I realised that must have been a shock. I didn't even know you were bi. Neither did I. How long have you been? Uh, not long. But Emma, she's married with kids. Yes. But the kids are, you know, they're grown. So she's leaving him? Uh, look, um, we didn't plan this. You think you know people? You're busy. I, I won't hold you up. <clears throat> Hi, come in. Hi. Why did I have to walk in on you to find out what was going on? Because it's private. Private? This weekend away, you're going with Lena? I might be. But Aisha, just because you live under my roof doesn't give you the right to judge me. I'm not judging you. I actually thought we were mates. We are. So why didn't you tell me then? Don't you trust me? It's not like that. Why is everyone lying to me? I've never lied to you. Or what, you just forgot to mention that you're having an affair with a married woman? Just like Tyler didn't tell me he's left town. What? Where? Where's he gone? Here, you can keep your damn money. Have you spoken to Rob? You know what, Emma? Maybe you should focus on sorting out your own life, because yet again, it's one giant mess. I'm sick of dealing with the fallout. 